In this short video, I'm going to go through a GAMSAT question that involves maths and specifically a question that requires us to be able to extrapolate. So let's jump straight into the question. By calculating the average rate of change of the marriage rate and the divorce rate over these years and expecting that these average trends will continue, find the number of years after 1996 when the marriage and the divorce rates could be expected to be approximately equal. And we can see in the answer options, it's either 10, 15, 20, or 25 years later. So this is a, a this is a question that involves extrapolation, because if you look at what it's asking us to do, it's asking us to look at what's happening a number of years after 1996. And if you look at the table of data that's being provided, 1996 is the last year that we have information for. So we're being expected to predict what's happening outside of this table, okay? Uh, which is, by definition, extrapolating, okay? Um, if you look at the back of the book, there are suggested solutions. And if you're following the suggested solutions um, all right, then you're doing a great job. But for most people, if you would look at these, it really wouldn't make much sense, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys a bit of an easier way to do these type of questions. Now, I wanna make it clear that the way that we're doing this really relies on the fact that this is uh, information that follows a linear pattern or a, or a linear trend, okay? And there are some, there are some hints uh, that the trends are linear in uh, in their manner. One of those hints is the words average being used. So they talk about the average rates of change as well as average trends. And typically, if you're talking about average rates or average trends or similar kind of wording, that probably means that the data follows a linear relationship or a linear pattern. We'll be able to test this out as well um, in a moment when we look at these values, okay? Now, another thing that I note as well when I look at the answer options is that we are skipping ahead um, 10 years, and then after that, we're skipping an additional five years in terms of increments of five, I should say. So, so 10 years in the future, and then we add another five years, and then we add another five years, okay, to get to 20 years and then 25 years. So in terms of, I guess, understanding what kind of a jump we might want to look at, I'm thinking that a, uh, a good gap to jump ahead would be five years, okay? So with that in mind, if I go to the table and I start off at 1986, let's start off with the marriage rate. So if we look at the marriage rate at 1986 and we skip five years ahead, Okay, that would be in 1991. The marriage rate is now 41.7. And if you do a quick um, subtraction, a bit of mental arithmetic, you can see that it has decreased by about six. Okay, so let's say minus six. Let's see if it does a similar thing in the next five years, because that's what we would expect if it followed a linear trend. Okay, so if we were to go from 1991, now to 1996, so that's one, two, three, four, five years, and that's five years, it goes from 41.7 to 34.7, and it's not exactly six, but I think it's about seven, okay? So it's gone down by about seven, okay? Which is not too bad, that's, that's quite reasonable, okay? Now, if it was significantly different, then uh, you probably couldn't assume that it was linear, but going from six, uh, going down by about six, going down by about seven, it's it's about right, okay? Now, if we look at the divorce rate and do the same kind of thing, let's start off in 1986. We start off at a rate of 10.7 and it looks like it goes up. Now, how much has it gone up by when we have jumped five years ahead? It looks like it's gone up by about one, okay? So let's just say plus one. And if we look at the rate in another five years, how much has it gone up by? Uh, now, it's not exactly one, but what is this uh, going from? It's gone up by one point something. <clears throat> Excuse me, 1.3. 1 
Now, just to make things a little bit easier, let's just say it's gone up by about one. Now, we can use this to then skip ahead every five years. So if I start a new table where I've got my marriage and my divorce rate, and we start off at 1996, and we're going to jump ahead in five year increments. Now, if I was to jump, oh, sorry, didn't set this up right. Okay, now if I was to jump five years ahead from 1996, that would be 2001. Not that it really matters. We're not interested in the, the actual number of the, uh, the year. Okay, but we know that if we add five years, that's where we're going to be. If we added another five years, that's where we'd be. And then if we add another five years, that's where we'd be as well. Let's start filling up this table. We'll start off with the marriage and the divorce rate at 1996, which is 34.7 and 12.9. So we can see that the marriage rate decreases by about six or seven as we add five years. So let's do that, okay? Let's just decrease it by, let's say six, okay? Now just to make our numbers a little bit easier, let's just make this actually 35 and we'll make the other one 13. Okay, now 35, if we take away six, where are we? We're at 29. If we take away another 6, we're going to be at 23. Take away another 6, we're going to be at 17. And let's just do another, take away another 6, it's going to be 11. Okay, so we've gone 5 years, 10 years, 15, and 20 years in advance. Okay, if we have to, we'll, we'll jump um, again. I'll just run out of space on my table. Now with the divorce rate, what happens when we go five years in advance? It actually goes up by about one. Okay, so let's say it goes up by 13, uh, so from 13, I should say, to 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, now this is relatively straightforward to do. All we are doing is adding or taking away a similar amount every time we are kind of skipping ahead five years. So what's the question asking us to do? We want to know at what point do the, uh, or what point are the marriage and the divorce rates expected to be approximately equal? And I hope you can see it, that that happens around here, okay? So how many years have actually passed? Five, 10, 15 years. Okay. Now, there's a few different ways you can do this. Um, as I said, you could do it by the way that the back of the book um, you could do it by the way that the back of the book suggested. Um, alternatively, you could try to set up linear equations by using you know, y is equal to mx plus c uh, for both the marriage rate and the divorce rate and try to solve them simultaneously. But I guarantee you that using a table like this and just skipping ahead, uh, understanding how linear extrapolation works is the simplest way. Okay. Uh, I hope you found this useful, uh, and if you did, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.